you are listening to the heritage pod presented to you by the heritage group of institutions you will be listening to the knowledge series with professor shubhrajit ganguly assistant professor department of media science hello this is shubhrajit ganguly welcoming you all to another episode of the knowledge series podcast today we are having with us professor niladri ranjan chatterjee professor department of english university of kalyani welcome sir thank you is it important to talk about gender studies i think it's very important to talk about gender studies not only if you're in a school or a college or a university but elsewhere as well so um within the family amongst your friends amongst mm-hmm. your um you know mm-hmm. other acquaintances mm-hmm. with your romantic partner or partners so i think it's very important for us to talk about gender um because of the very simple reason that i cannot mm-hmm. think of a single area in life where you don't have gender every single thing is gendered how you sit how you stand even what you eat mm. how much you eat what clothes you wear where you can go to where you can't go to even the gods that you worship it's all gendered so therefore if we try to think of a world without gender it is impossible for us to do that because patriarchy has formulated mm. gender so comprehensively that we cannot mm. think of a world without gender so what are we going to do are we going to accept gender or are we going to say since it is going for the last 1000 years so let's continue absolutely not so what we should really do is try to learn what feminism teaches us mm. and what feminism teaches us is very simply to identify patriarchy first please let us try and identify how patriarchy works unfortunately most people when they think about patriarchy they think what i like to say men bad women sad oh. which means you know men are the ones who are beating up women women are the ones who are getting beaten up by oh, men oh, oh. um i think it's a little more complex than that what we really need to understand is how does patriarchy work even when this is what i would like to lay some stress on oh. even when gender is ostensibly not there so how does gender work for example in a group of men is gender present there you would say no because in your head you only associate gender with women if it's a women's only gathering does gender work there yes sir why lots of women if it is a mixed group of men and women does gender work there yes sir why there are women if it's a men's only group does gender work there no sir why no women nonsense <laughs> even amongst a men's only gathering gender is completely present so how do we identify gender well this is what we do and much more importantly how do we identify patriarchy three things patriarchy assumes hmm? patriarchy assumes which means that patriarchy is going to look at you hmm. and patriarchy is going to make certain assumptions purely on the basis of what you look like so okay you are good looking oh which means you must be intelligent oh you're ugly oh which means you must be stupid so therefore we make these assumptions all the time patriarchy loves to assume what feminism says is don't assume learn to talk to people understand who they are after talking to them don't make snap judgments because patriarchy loves making mm. snap judgments so what we are really looking for then is if you have to stop being patriarchal stop assuming what else does patriarchy do patriarchy loves stability it loves stability so patriarchy says if you once have a job stick to the job if you once have a spouse stick to the spouse if you once have a country stick to the country if you once have a religion stick to the religion patriarchy is terrified of conversion patriarchy is terrified of change patriarchy is scared of instability patriarchy will tell you once you've decided to be one thing be that thing for the rest of your life till you die and even after you're dead that's interesting uh, what kind of stability does patriarchy like the most Patriarchy loves the stability of the identity that it has dumped on you mind you dumped 
on you when you were born so when you were born patriarchy has decided you are male patriarchy has decided you are brahmon patriarchy has decided you are an indian patriarchy has decided you are going to fall in love with a woman and have three children well maybe two um so therefore patriarchy has decided all of that if you are born into a family of lawyers then patriarchy has decided you will definitely pursue law if patriarchy has given birth to you in a musical family well you're certainly going to take up singing so these are identities that are dumped on you and then for the rest of your life you're expected to stick to the identities that you didn't choose interesting so what is really happening is you are being self contradictory on the one hand you say you can be what you want to be and then on the other hand you're saying yeah you can be whatever you want to be as long as what you want to be is in alignment with what i want that's not love that is ownership let us learn to love let us stop owning Thank you sir thank you so much it was really a great conversation thank you sir thank you well that was professor niladri ranjan chatterji professor department of english university of kalyani speaking on gender studies for more content keep listening to the heritage pod this is shubhrajit signing off presented to you by the heritage group of institutions